Hello everyone, and welcome to Farming Sim 17. Looks like our field, our f field flag is complete. Uh, with some beautiful wild flowers. Um, and now today we're just going to destroy it by mowing over it. It's going to be great. We have a little grass in this loading wagon. And it looks like we can get our harvester on harvesting duty on this field here. I hope everyone who is in America had a lovely and enjoyable Thanksgiving uh, and, will, and will continue to enjoy Thanksgiving weekend since usually it's not just one day but full of family affair for the whole four days following. Uh, love alliteration by the way. If you are outside of America, I hope you enjoyed your Thursday yesterday and the rest of your weekend as well. Whether it contains turkey or not. Now, we... I don't know why I'm spinning the camera so much. I apologize for that. Just sort of started talking and just kept kept on spinning it. Okay, so we need to fold this... Wait. We need to fold this up. Okay, barley, thanks. We are not going to sell barley. We got some soybeans planted there. We got a nice huge field of grass. We have very little money. I think it's time to take out a loan and just buy stuff. Um, I was trying to avoid it. I thought it'd be really nice to just keep, keep that down. But we're kind of at a point where we just need equipment to do things. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the best way I can say that. So I think it's I think it's going to be worth just yeah, taking out a loan, buying some equipment. Um, I also had someone in the comments say I could just use a plow and convert this to a field and then plant over it so that I can hire a worker. Um, that's true. I could. Uh, that's something we might look at once I if I decide to turn this back into uh, crop. I might consider getting a plow and attempting to create a new field. I've never done that because the plow is, um, what do I want to say, unruly. It's a little uh, unwieldy would be probably a better word for it. It's unwieldy. I'm very bad with it. But right now we're going to drop off these tippers. We are going to drop off this mower and this pallet and it just we're just getting this track okay get off stop it remove yourself from me please oh you know what I can do since I'm gonna do this anyway uh, I can just find this and oh I can even do this I keep forgetting we have like a really nice tractor but I think the Lamborghini is still more powerful right or maybe they're about equal I can't remember I can't ask to be remember. I can't ask to remember. There we go. I can't ask to remember that much. All right, so let's go to animals. Make sure that they're fine. They should be. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out all the money we can. We're just gonna. We're just gonna do that. Yeah. Borrow. And we are going to invest. This is an investment in hay, and. Uh, silage stuff. So basically, okay, so first we need a back mower. First and foremost, there, did it. Bought, good. 137,000 left. We also need a tether. We'll go with this one. It's a half meter less, but it's, it's, I have not used this one yet, so I just want to use that one. So, tether, good. Done, bought. We also need a wind rower. Super important. Um, this one's awesome, but it's really expensive. I mean, it's over twice this, so we might go with this one. Let's first look at baling, because I would love to also get um, the baler, 58, but then we'd also need this, so we this may be not, we may not be baling yet. Yeah, that's a really expensive up, uh, startup. We basically need all three of these things for silage bales, but it is a good money maker later on. So I think right now, let's get this wind rower. Um, so we have 83,000. Let's see. 
Okay, let's keep thinking while I drive. Okay, so we have. Okay, so we can mow more efficiently. We can turn that into hay, and we can windrow it to make it easier to pick up. Do we also want to go ahead and invest in a baler at this time? We don't really need to, huh? Not unless, really, the only thing I would bail is uh, si is for silage bales, because they sell for $1,900 a piece. So I think we can actually repay a lot of this, get our loan interest down. So we still have $80,000 if we need to borrow more, but I think these three pieces of equipment are going to are going to be good for now. It'll at least let us convert. It'll it'll at least let us start uh, getting hay, which is good for the hayloft. Uh, it's easier to store than the grass. So, but we also have grass. Well, I can just quickly fill up the loading wagon since it's all, almost full and then we can get that 200% and then go dump it at the silage and cover that and then convert the rest of this field to hay and the nice thing is I can do that while this mows since I can hire a worker for mowing now because Farming Sim 17 is awesome yes that is the plan so uh, let's set this down could possibly, because I think I can put the mower on the front as well. I had a comment that said I can put both of these on the front. Let me see. So if I do that, could I put the windrower on the back and just windrow it? Because it's a pretty small one. Um, these mowers are going to get me 8.4 meters. And the windrower was only nine, so it, it, it might be worth just windrowing as I mow. I've, I haven't done that yet. Should we test it? Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. So we'll reset this. Don't worry, I will skip ahead um, on the next drive back, so you don't have to watch me and listen to me talk the whole time. Um, but let's get this windrower back to the farm and try that. It, I may not have a large enough tractor to do that, which is better than... Lamborghini or the Deutz? I always... I have forgotten. So this... Okay, so they're the same. Yeah, they are literally have the same stats. Okay, that's great. Now I will skip ahead until we're back on the farm. Well, one nice thing is that the harvester is able to do this entire field without having to empty it. Did I... I fertilized it, right? Because the sower... Oh yeah, it's canola. Okay, so this should be all the canola we need. Um... I might as well just come over here and empty it. Whoops, why did I hit P when I meant to hit O? We'll go ahead and empty it into our aggro liner. Or not our aggro liner, our farm tech one in the middle. Oh, don't. Okay, oh, okay. I hope that will still go back on my tractor. And just a little off, huh? Really want it in that center one because then it'll actually fit. Okay. Oh, we could sell these two smaller ones and use some of that money for. Uh, I would love to get three of these farm techs. Or three of the aggro liners. We'll see. That's not in... Uh, that will not be this episode. We will not have time for that. I also want to upgrade the uh, pickup truck. Uh, whether we want to just upgrade the engine or if we want to uh, buy the bigger one. Either way, moment of truth. Let's see if... This is going to be too much for this tractor, and if we can hire a worker, because this would be huge if we could do mowing and wind rowing. All right, so let's get that ready to go. We can lower the wind rower, lower the mower. I'm so happy all these rhyme. It's probably the best part about uh, doing this right now is the rhyme scheme. Now, looks like we can. So we have the power. Uh, that's great. And then we can just go ahead and one row it up. I'm going to hire a worker. Uh, 
My, the, the worker is confused, I think. Let's see. Try it again. So I don't think... I don't think I can use a worker for this, because they are not... They don't know what to do. I could probably hire a worker... Yeah, I can hire a worker just for the mowing. Um, but for some reason... See, so yeah, I can hit H... No? That's not working either, though. I wonder why... I wonder if it won't work because it's on the front? Let's see, let's just try it on the back, because I know I've done it before, and we are, we're on a field so it should work, um, but I've never done the, I've never tried it on the front of the mower, so I don't know why that would affect things, but something is going wrong. Uh, we got to make sure we're centered up here, and... Well, that worked. Lower that, lower that, hire worker. What are you doing, Willy? Come on. I want this one as well. Weird. Stop that. Um. Hmm. Oh, no, I've done this before. What is it? There we go. We got it. All right. So we could just hire a worker and then do the windrower lat. I think we're just going to have to do it in two separate occasions. Because when it's on the front, it's not working. And if one of you out there know knows why or a fix, that'd be great. Otherwise, okay. Now I can't do it again. Oh, there we go. We, I just have to give him a little time. Alright, well, that's okay. Um, if we really wanted, we could just follow up. Um, that's okay. We'll just do the wind rowing separate. It'll, we'll actually be able to collect in larger rows anyway. Um, but man, that would have been... That would have been handy. So we could just follow it up with this. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. That's too bad. I was really excited for that. Well, anyway, we'll get this out of the way and let uh, the mower finish, and then we will... I know we need to sow. We also need to go harvest. Holy cow, things are just... things are happening. I feel like last episode there wasn't much going on, um, and now all of a sudden there are just a hundred things to do, and I can't keep up. Well, let's get... Oh, no, no, no. That's the worst thing that's ever happened. Gosh, you dumb, dumb harvester. Okay. Well, that's going to be... <sighs> that might be some off-camera time with uh, picking up that loader attachment. Um, I think... Good. All right. That's going well. Oh, that is going to be so much grass. Wow. Uh, let's get this, and this should not take long to pick up to a 100% grass, and then the rest will convert to hay so that we can store it in the hay loft so we can feed our um, sheep and cows with it. Might as well get this edge here so I can windrow the rest. So this will be nice because now instead of using silage to feed our cows, we can just use all the silage that we're making for the power food. Which means we may want, instead of investing in baling technology, we may invest in a mixer. And then once we do that, then we should invest the rest in just animals.
um, because I'm doing all this work, you know, we're, we're getting ready to feed all our animals, but we don't really have a lot of animals to feed yet, which is fine. It's better than uh, doing the reverse of that, but it's definitely not going to be worth it if I don't invest also in just getting uh, a good quantity of animals. So uh, we are almost done here with picking this up, and then I will drive us down to the cows. Okay, so let's get this up so I can see how much we have in there. Yep. Let's... Uh, we're going to go to the end of this. I try to make this as kind of scattered across as possible so it doesn't build up into the huge pyramid that I then cannot use. So this should work. And it's way easier to compact. All right, let's stop unloading before I forget. And we'll just back up and we'll drive forward and we'll back up and we'll just do that until compacting is at 100. And then we'll have 42,000 uh, liters of silage. Like right there, that really concerns me that there's a little build up here. Because it's stuff like that that I always, that just always gets messed up. But it might be fixed. Um, someone in the comments said that the one, like, They've updated it again so that that field of vision fishbowl effect is gone. So I might be able to update my game again and see if it fixes some of these silage problems. But for now, let's blank it. And let's go to morning. And here we go. Good morning. And this should actually be done soon. No, wait, what? Oh, it is done. Okay. So I can open this. Ah. Yes, that is great. Alright, and we have money. We could pay back a little bit of the loan if we wanted. Might as well, because then we can just always take it out. But we can keep our uh, loan interest down. Okay, so... How much is a mixer? I know this one's cheap, but this one doesn't suck stuff up, so I'd either need a bucket or some belts, which isn't that difficult to do. This one is three times the price, but it sucks stuff up and is a huge help. One hundred twenty-one thousand. Oh man. Oh. <sighs> It's tough to spend that much, but geez, it is, and you don't have to, it's self-propelled, you don't have to, I think we're going to just spend the 120 once we have enough for it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to, that's, it's just too useful compared to the $40,000 one. So anyway, let's get back to the farm and see how our mower is doing. Well, it's kind of hard to tell because of all the fog, but it looks like he's done. So that, I mean, that wasn't, it didn't take too long. And then we should be able to um, hire him to windrow. Uh, I'll check on that. I might just do the windrowing myself off camera, but first let's get this guy started on um, sewing. I was gonna do a little car wash, but I might as well hook this up first. All right, now let's do a little car wash. So we want to separate these. They don't seem to wash, and maybe that's been fixed. I can get rid of the map, why is that there? Um, it may have been fixed by now, but you used to not be able to wash these when they were still connected. It just didn't work, so uh, where is it? Here we go. Oh, it's so loud, jeez, okay. Let's give him a little scrubbing before we go in the fields. We don't need to wash the sower because it will get that dirty once we go to sow. All right, that looks better. Connect them up. There we go. Unfold it here, maybe. There we go. And more, well, do we want more soybeans? Let's see what we need, if we need anything. We have plenty of wheat, uh, grain I should say. We have 9,000 canola in a tipper, so we're, we have plenty of that. 
we could do more sunflowers, but we, yeah, let's just definitely more um, soybeans. Can I ever have too many soybeans? All right, this is great. We can fold this back up. It's already growing again. Man, that's fast. Okay. Um, this I like to save for my headers and harvester, so we'll put all our uh, mowing and loading and tedders and bales, all that stuff, we'll put it over here in this, sh this, uh, it's not even a shed, this little thing. Why am I about to hit that? This guy needs a little wash too, huh? Might as well while we're out and about. Can't have this dirt on camera. It's just embarrassing. There we go. It's so loud. So we'll get away from it. Okay. Now I could go attempt to pick up that front loader. Oh, that's going to be a disaster. I wonder if I can get lucky and just maybe it'll just snap on. I won't do this very long, don't worry. I just want to see real quick. Nope. That's going to have to be probably a reset to the shop at some point. No, oh, that is not facing the way I thought it was. Fog has cleared. Okay, so now we have mowed, so let's ted. We don't want to wind grow yet. You can, or at least in, in Farming Sim 15 you could, you could ted once you windrowed, but the tedding spread it all around, so basically it was a waste of time, because you'd have to go back and windrowed again, so. Uh, we will turn all this to hay. And get rid of this map again. And they should be able to hire a worker for this as well. Oh, is that? No, there's a little grass right there. Okay. I am going to uh, unload. I was going to leave, but we have this full, so we might as go. Might as well go unload this real quick. All that worker works, and that worker works. All right. I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, by the next episode, we'll have that field planted. This will be tedded, and this guy will be back in the fields harvesting. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Have yourselves a very nice day.